everyone, how's everyone doing? Welcome to my channel. As you can see from my table, I got so many more packages today and I already am working on die cutting all of these so I will be sharing so much more. Yeah, anyway, um, I will put these aside so I can get to them. Uh, today I have some more stamps and dies for you guys so without further ado I'm gonna jump right in and show you I'm gonna start with the stamps and let me grab a piece of white paper okay so the first stamp I want to show you it's these little cute foxes and if you know me, you know I love animals. They are so adorable. And I, I colored some of them. I was bored last night and coloring it's therapy for me. So um, it's not the best coloring, but yeah, I did them in the dark. So I, this is how they stamp. So that's that one. I got this cute, mouse set and there is a little wheelbarrow there's a pie uh, I have it inside here there is some pumpkin and stuff there is corn there is butternut squash yeah so cute and this is how they stamp they're so adorable I love the little vegetables too and look at this one he's so cute that's that one. I got this set. Um, again, it just reminds me of fall and like deer, owl. There's some bunnies. Those are like mom mama and baby kind of. So, um, yeah, there is mushroom. There is a tree trunk. There is a little sunflower. Or you can make it into, um, what's the other white one? Anyway, now I forgot. <laughs> and I wanted to try my water watercolor paper. So I did color with my watercolor, uh, not the markers. I have um, kind of like uh, little cakes. So I did that with, I did this with that. And then I did one with my regular alcohol markers which I love alcohol markers um, it's so much easy for me so I just did a couple of them here but this is how the stamp is so you have your mama version and baby version of the three animals or four I should say the butterfly the eyes didn't stamp out but um, you can just put like in this one I just drew the eye and the mouth so it's not a big deal and it comes with some sentiments I got this one and this is the only one I wanted to try the matching dies uh, I had bad experience with matching dies before I just wanted to see if you know I I get successful with this one so I bought the matching dies and this is how the stamp set looks. So cute. Again, fall uh, leaves. There is a, the, I think it's a fox. It's a fox, hedgehog, uh, owl. There's some branches. There's some happy faces, a rake. Yeah, it's so cute. And this is how well they stamp up. can't even see the screen because it's upside down so um, anyway I did I did uh, try the the dies and they do cut up so I was so happy so just to give you an idea there is the fox in two colors. There is the leaves, the hedgehog. 
Aren't they so cute? They're so cute. I love them. So that's that one. And now I have to put them all here because I'm going to lose them. Yeah. And then my last stamp. See, I'm losing them. My last stamp, again, so adorable. Um, some mice, adorable in stamps and stickers and whatnot, but not in real life. But anyway, um, there is a bushel of apples. I think these are apples too. There's pumpkin. He's holding an apple. This one's holding a pumpkin. I show you now. He is sitting in a pile of leaves. So cute. And this one I colored. So adorable. And then you can, of course, make them into different colors. So I was having fun with this set. So that's that one. Now I'm going to show you a couple of dies that I purchased. Um, I got this. Kind of like a net die for um, you can use it as a background in your mixed media or um, it's mainly it's a net for like ocean themed um, yeah and this one is see I'm not organized where is my ruler okay and this one is two and three quarters by two and a quarter so it's not a bad size that's that one also from the same um, set they had these three fishes it reminds me of like a mama Papa and a baby. That's <laughs> so cute. And there is like little, um, the fins are all cut up. So it's so cute. And the big fish is about almost two inches. And the small one is little over one and a quarter. By one and a half by three quarters. So not a bad size. And of course you can paper piece it. So... So that's that one. I got this die. I didn't realize I had ordered so many animal dies and they're just coming. They're actually coming fast, which is, I'm surprised. So, okay, so I ordered this die. Oops. And it's a dog and a cat and they're kind of facing their back is to to you and then it comes with a bow and um, the little uh, what do you call it the the neck thing <laughs> of course I would forget the name and this is how they look cut up they're so cute And the dog is two and a quarter inches long. The cat is one and a half inch long. Um, one and three quarters and about one inches. So pretty nice size. So that's that one. I got these cats. I have something similar, but they didn't come as many. This one has so many cats. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven and eight. Eight cats. Eight cats. And they're not small, they're pretty good size. So that's so cute. And I'll tell you they're they're usually about two and two quarter of an inch by one and a half. And this long one is yeah two and a quarter oh holding it wrong by two so they're all like similar sizes and this is how well they cut up oops they're so cute i love them Yes, there you go. This is how well they cut up. So that's that one. I got this butterfly. And this is so pretty. Oops. So one side is just regular butterfly. The other side is flowers that you can layer and yeah, it's so pretty. And this is how it cuts. And this butterfly, she's not a small die. It's three and three quarters by almost four. So great size for card making and projects so that's that one I got these dies these little puppies doggies so there's three dogs um, comes with the bandana the leash and is that anything else I thought there yeah there is something else too I knew there was a bow and then the the neck uh, piece <laughs> I'm not gonna remember that in this video and of course the bow so and then I'll tell you each dog how big they are so of course you can decorate it the way you want There is one, two, and three, and then I just made some in beige, and then you have your leash and bandana, so you can just embellish the way you want. So these are the three, and of course the, the gems I added, these cute little doggies are one and three quarters of an inch by a little over one one and a half well with the leash without the leash is less it's over two and the other one again one and three quarters by a little over one so it's so cute and oh see I dropped a piece okay I have to pick it up later I got this cute llama and he came like that and this is his uh, little blanket that goes on his little body and he's got sunglasses, his mouth or nose, and then he's got a bow. And he is a good size too. Almost four inches by two and a half. And this is how he looks. He is cool llama. So I cut him up in um, kind of like skin color 
and distressed him to look kind of, yeah, his legs and just gave him some shading. He's wearing cool glasses and that's his bow and that's the nose part. Of course, you can do any color you want. And then that's um, his little blanket it embosses. He's so cute. Okay, and my last die for today, I have a couple of bag dies, um, but this one is so cute. It comes with the hands, which you're supposed to, I'll show you what I'm working on with this one. I have, I think I have another one in my stash that's similar and I have one coming and I am going to post um, a video on how I make the little um, shopping bags, Halloween treat bags, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, this is what I made and I just stuck a tissue paper to look more like a and of course the decoration it's up to you but this is the size of the bag that it makes and I'll tell you the size it's about two and a three quarter of an of an inch by two and a half made up the hands are supposed to there is a fold line right in the middle there and it's supposed to go like that and you just fold it and it looks like a hand holding it. It is so cute. So I love this die. And yeah, I'm gonna be making more. I just made two just to try out and I just love them. And you can even like put, um, I think it'll be enough for a small chocolate bar for Halloween to share with your friends. So yeah, so that was it for my dies today, my stamps and dies. If you guys like this video, please give me thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, have a fantastic day you guys. And I will be back with a lot more. <laughs> Bye.